Good morning, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com here with your good morning show. A little bit of discussion we do every morning, four days a week, and uh, whatever's going on with Sorgatron Media, whatever's on my mind, a lot of tech stuff uh, typically. Today, um, one thing I like to do with this is uh, whenever there's a, a, you know, I get to go out and do a project or something, um, have a little bit of post-mortem on it. We talked about that a little bit on Tuesday's episode this week uh, after the IWC Reloaded show. If anything significant happened or if there's any difference, in, especially those ones since we do the wrestling shows about twice a month, once once each for uh, the two companies that we work with. Um, but I got to get out and uh, work with uh, an old friend an old friend in uh, Jean Clark. Uh, previously worked with her on some projects. Uh, she's actually uh, her with uh, Pen Future were I think I think it was my first freelance client uh, way way back in 2007, and it's kind of uh, uh, been very very helpful in kind of uh, well myself getting that confidence up uh, in video production and everything that I was helping with, and um, and uh, and spinning up into doing my own thing here, which is this glorious palatial estate you see behind me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I've worked with her on uh, not just that she she left that and and uh, worked with uh, um, shitty sized Democrats uh, or worked on a couple political debate videos for YouTube to help get out there and now uh, she's landed herself in Alcasan and uh, so has my some of my video work uh, so this is my first kind of work um, o- over there in that situation um, as there was a uh, public speaking uh, kind of engagement uh, going on and. Uh, it, it was, it's kind of, a, I guess, uh, Alcasan, if you're not in the area, is um, Allegheny County's kind of uh, authority on, on clean water. Um, like, they do the filtration for the sewage and everything, um, and, and they're, they're, they're uh, continually trying to get better at it and kind of solve the, uh, the uh, uh, polluted water problem and, and, and the cycle of water that happens in a, in a big city with sewage, with runoff, with, with that kind of thing. Um, just making sure that stuff doesn't go directly into the rivers and pollute the guys down the way. You know, uh, you guys all the way down on the other end of the Mississippi. That means you. We would be a part of that. Um, so as, as far as I understand what they do. So they have to do these public meetings regardless as part of the charter to do a, hey, this is what's going on. Um, and my understanding was a lot of this was like, yeah, this is uh, basically the same information as last year. Not much has changed. We just know we're in negotiations. We can't tell you that um, because it's like it's a. Uh, uh, and they said that they can tell you they're in negotiations, but they're 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 confidential until they finish them. Uh, it, it, the details of, of those. So uh, it, it was good to go out. Just the typical, um, as you see in the pictures, that uh, I love iCloud, man. I was just like, man, I should show some pictures off. I don't have them on the computer. Um, let me uh, pull this up. You know, I got an iPhone, and it's just right up on iCloud.com. It's 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 pretty great because uh, I didn't happen to open Google Plus. It's not in my Plus photos, what I usually go to photos for. But uh, anyways, I digress. Um, but no, I mean, it was really cool. Got to, got to hang in their uh, new facility. I guess got, just got finished a little bit ago, too. Um, so uh, it was kind of nice. And they're kind of solving, like, to the point where I didn't know what kind of setup I would have for audio. Because they just installed it yesterday. <laughs> and unfortunately, I didn't see any kind of outputs or anything I could tap into. So uh, for me, it's always a, an issue to kind of, uh, uh, de- de- you know, if I don't have a patch in, and even if I do have a patch in, because we've done a couple of these before at uh, uh, several different rooms at, at, at Pitt University, and um, you never know what you're going to get. You never know what that's going to sound like. Um, if they decide that they're not going to be straight on the mic or we're going to tap the mic a lot or we're going to have way too many mics to get passed along a giant table with about 20 candidates for judge like we did one time, um, you'll get a lot of mixed results with audio. Um and unfortunately, uh, myself, I'm not a primary audio person, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I know with all this podcasting, right? Um, but uh, but we, we try to do what we can. I try to fix whatever, whatever I can in post. That's why it's always nice when we do something like this that is the two cameras um, because I am able to kind of uh, fuss with it a little bit, right? Um, you know, for instance, uh, we have both cameras on shotgun mic, so I got that going on. I actually did have a hand mic without a stand, driving myself nuts on that, and it's actually not the best mic for doing something like this. Uh, if you ever see the hand mic that we pass back and forth on the RWA wrap-ups, right? Um, but it was at least, it was another source. Another one, I took uh, one of these guys, uh, these iPhones. I have an old 3GS, and this is an idea that came up. Some podcast was talking about doing something like this, too, uh, for like portable podcasting. But uh, I took the old iPhone 3GS, turned on voice recorder, and just stuck it on the podium. 
if everything and you know how i am uh i I've t- i think i've talked about this before when talking about the wrestling video stuff uh i'm big on redundancy so now i'm i'm looking at four different resources for audio that i'm going to be able to kind of pick the best of here and there and then on top of that uh we were taking questions from the audience so how am i going to get them um they even even the audio they had for the audience because they had like a lavalier you know, wireless box with the with the cord. You know that you know, you can hide really good in shots, and they're just kind of passing that around uh, to get people on the loudspeaker. It's a whole different system. Um, in this room, there was uh, 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 two speakers in the front, and then uh, another set of two speakers in the back. And you can kind of tell they just installed all the stuff in the front too. Uh, so that was really interesting. So uh, they, they they're looking to continue to do stuff, and they, they're actually. Uh, we, we talked about ways to kind of fix the situation there. I mean, it, it, it's it's perfect. It's fine for people sitting in there watching the presentations. But um, obviously for, you know, wanting to do a little bit of video and everything, um, you know, it, it, I mean, it's not a big room. If you're on video, if you can see the picture here, uh, not a terribly, terribly big room. Um, but uh, it's, it's still, you know, they, they want to help the presentation. They want to use social media a little bit more. Uh, and everything so um, you know they want to make sure it's kind of kept up a bit right Um, so it's a it's an interesting new new problem I hope uh, I hope we can get something uh, going for them and uh, this video should be on uh, YouTube Uh, hopefully I'm I'm hoping to get to it for a good portion today actually Uh, so uh, a really good once again working with uh, uh, Gene Clark and the the, meeting the people there at Alcasan um, really cool uh, group of people met the executive director and everything. Um, so, uh, so, so really, really nice to see what's going on, what that little item on my sewage bill goes to. And, uh, and, uh, and that's the other thing is I, I love, I love doing these shoots and, and I hate it, hate it, hate it that I don't do on song anymore, uh, that that got canceled last year. Uh, because I, I learned so much about my city by doing all these, all these interviews and everything and, uh, and, and taking care of that. And, um, and, uh, and it's good to get out there and, and, and kind of doing some more of this again, you know, and not that, I've, you know, I still do this every, every once in a while in this capacity. Right. Um, but still, you know, um, it, it's always cool. I really like the, the position I, I, I get put in sometimes because, uh, because of some of these things, you know, a lot of things I never would have experienced otherwise. Um, as maybe I was discussing the other day when I was talking about goals and, and things I kind of accomplished, you know, um, and, and, you know, just being, being aware, you know, being parts of cities, parts of the city that I never would have went to, you know, how much of, of Pittsburgh I never would have explored if it wasn't for these video gigs, you know, um, and you can't get that get an office job. And, and I really, I really enjoy that, that part of, uh, what we're doing over here. So, so look for that. Uh, Alcasan has a YouTube account. Um, just look up Alcasan. I'm sure it's right there. This will be up uh, hopefully in the coming days. Uh, like I said, I'm hoping to pound out a preview for them uh, today, and uh, you can get that. And uh, it, the questions get very interesting at the end there. So check that out. Look up Alcasan. Uh, you can check out everything else going on SorgatronMedia.com. This is the last good morning of the week. Uh, go over there. We got such great content this week. Awesome uh, talks with uh, our friend Facade uh, talking about his trip to Russia. What's it like to wrestle in Russia? And I think that was his first major trip out of uh, the greater area. I think he's more of a road tripper when it comes to uh, his wrestling gigs. Um, also, uh, one if, if again on the wrestling vein, if you really if you dig that, we had really really good discussions this week with uh, ring, ring announcer uh, Bert Legrand with the RWA, and uh, we had some great talks with Ron Kraus at Crazy Kraus on the uh, t- on the Twitter about Windows and Microsoft, an extended talk uh, uh, with a, a Microsoft enthusiast about what the, all this means and how to get excited about Windows 10. And uh, fun talks with video games with Boss Battle. And, of course, the movie minute is a, is a blast as always. So uh, go check out all that stuff, sorgatronmedia.com. I'm Mike Sorg at mikesorg.com, sorgatron.com uh, is where uh, this show resides in video and audio formats. And uh, I hope you guys have a good, safe weekend. It's snowy out there. Have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.